everyone I thought I'd try to do this um, video of me cleaning out the coop I had a mask it's right over there because of this uh, when I get raking up this stuff <clears throat> you know there's dust but I dropped my mask in the mud and so um, I'm not gonna put it on and I have you on a little tripod like that and on a cinder block that I use to keep the chicken door open, the little door that they use. But I put a Walmart bag over the cinder block and I put the tripod on it and I tried to focus it as best as I could in here. Um, my peeps are in the little plastic storage tote in my yard over there with a screen on top and something on top of the screen and the two silky hens are in my yard uh, with the peeps but they're free ranging and um, I thought it would be neat to uh, do a video showing you how I clean my coop so let me show you I got my I got my cleaning tools these are what I use and then I have my mixture of cleaning vinegar. This is cleaning vin vinegar with um, water because you can't use bleach. So you probably won't be able to see me too much until I get raking this stuff. But um, here we go. Just stay with me. It doesn't take long at all because um, the reason why it doesn't take me long is because every day I do a little something. I'll come out here and I'll scrape off poop off the perches and things so I don't really let things build up. <clears throat> but I do want to get out some of this uh, bedding and uh, so I thought I'd call you up. Maybe it's interesting to you, maybe not. <laughs> And I'm probably not doing a very good job video videoing it, but I'm gonna try. So what I just cleaned was the, I cleaned two roosting bars and then I cleaned out again the middle nesting box, which is the biggest one. 
that the peeps and the two silky mamas have been in. I did clean it out um, two days ago. I cleaned it and disinfected it. And yesterday I cleaned it, but now I just uh, really scraped everything out of there and <clears throat> sprayed it with the vinegar and water. And I'm not going to put the peeps up there tonight. Um, they're getting too big. And with the two silky hens that want to be with them, it's not enough space. And um, what I'll do is, like I've done with all my peeps at a certain time, I put them in that plastic tote. And I put them here in the corner in the coop with the screen on top <clears throat> and uh, something heavy like a brick or something on top of the screen. And they'll be okay because at night they're locked in. Um, you have to do this because especially when you have the peeps and they spill the water, even though it's in a, um, what do you call it? in a, a special thing uh, you know they can tip it over and stuff and then your bedding gets wet and it holds in moisture which isn't healthy for the chicks for any of the chicks or the chickens moisture in a coop is not good it breeds a lot of bacteria and things and so um, that's why I'm out here again plus this morning we had rain so things are damp and humid so I want to um, you know freshen up this place okay let me get back up The other two nesting boxes, they're okay. Um, I just checked them and they're okay. And one has an egg in it, probably from one of my bad rocks, a brown egg. So that's done. Now I'm going to rake up this bedding and get it out. I have a big trash bag there. I know I have on pink gloves, but it's just for cleaning. And real men wear pink, they say. Lady Jane's walking behind you. See all the dust. I'm gonna come out and let some of that dust settle and bag up this. <coughs> I'm not gonna take out all of the bedding. I just wanna really get um, the top layer out. And then I'll smooth out the rest and it will just compost, you know. Uh oh. Hold on, everyone. I hope you're still there.
Okay. I don't know. Oh, you're falling again. Okay, you're there. Lady Jane is behind you. Uh-oh. Lady Jane, she hit the... <laughs> I saw her that time. She hit the, the cinder block. I've got as much as I can. Oh, now the bag is going to fall. Yep. Oh, Lady Jane. She's pecking around at the back. Let's see. Oh. I don't blame you if you don't watch this video. No. Why? Okay. Just gonna smooth out this. They'll come in here as soon as I'm out and they'll scratch around. This away from the entrance. the um the screen Lady Jane, there she goes. I'll take it, I'll show you. So I just scraped off this and this part in there, and now I'm cleaning out these. That's a fake egg. And then I'll rake out this bedding. There she is. So 
I guess I'll end this because the camera keeps um mm, there's some cobwebs up here. Can you see? And I'm going to, um, oh, you know what? I think it's the camera. It's too heavy, maybe. I'm going to finish cleaning out this, which it's not bad. Like I say, I, I clean as I go every day. And I'm going to put some fresh leaves up in that one. doesn't take long you know if you do a little bit every day this here is the where all the peeps were so I'm gonna um gonna let that air dry oh there's two eggs in that one so I'm not gonna mess with it And I want to disinfect this grate. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'm going to end it. Oh, find where you are. This video is a hot mess. Um, I'm going to end it because the camera keeps falling down. But this is what I do. I want my birds to be healthy. I mean, it's never gonna be, you know, clean like a museum, because it is a chicken coop. <laughs> but there is no reason why, if you have a chicken coop that you can't keep up with it. There's some people that leave their bedding in uh, all year and they do a once a year clean and I I just don't do that when I rake like I did today I'll rake off like the top layer and bag it up and throw it out and I'll leave just a thin layer especially now in the summer they don't need a lot of bedding that holds in moisture too and um, that's not good so I don't know what you saw I'm sorry if it's a wonky video, you know that I don't edit. I just video as I go along. But I thought it'd be interesting for you. Okay, everyone. I'll talk to you later.